about the well-being of my retinue during... Traveler, welcome. Good to see you. We want some blackback perch stew. All right. Blackback perch stew it is. Make yourselves at home. Thanks, Chef Mel. I was just thinking about you guys. And now you're here. It feels like... You mean you are about to come looking for us? Uh-huh. There's something I want to discuss with you guys. Did you happen to see how the city looked on the way over here? Everyone's getting ready for the Moon, Ch moon Chase Festival. Is that another one of Lewis's ancient traditions? That's right! Moonchase is a big festival where we celebrate the arrival of the fall by moonlight. The old folks say that thousands, but it's completely different nowadays. We eat our favorite foods, spend time with friends and relatives, enjoy the moon and the flowers. So much easier. Basically, sounds like Paimon's kind of festival. <laughs> with your great taste in food, Moonchase Festival is sure to be to your liking. Hey, if you got a problem with Pion's taste, just... Um, so are you guys free these days? I'm taking part in this year's Masterful Chefs. That's right. Getting some suggestions from friends will broaden your horizon. Masterful Chefs, huh? So is that like a comeback? <laughs> All right, yeah. I guess you probably haven't. Every year, Moon Chase Festival has a different theme, usually picked by the Qixing. This year's theme is Feast of the Bounteous... Feast of the Bounteous Land. I totally agree. I heard it was Ningguang that came up with it. She's so amazing. And, well, I want to take part in the competition, but coming up with new dishes is hard work. By the time you finally... So, I was thinking, I could get the two of you to help by gathering everyone's thoughts on what makes a great dish. This'll be a pizza cake. We've got friends from all over the map, haven't we? <laughs> you sound pretty confident. Well, you know, not. But first things first, let's have a delicious woman meal. After that, we can go around to all... Okay, great. Also, Boba should be back soon, so we can all go together. Here's your black bag perch stew, folks. Mmm, it smells so good. <laughs> it's my pleasure. So delicious. Very convert. Xiang Ling can be a bit of a handful, so please look out for her while you're out in a Come on, Dad! Why would you say that? Because I know you all too well, my dear. That's why. You mustn't be quite so reckless when you're out in the wild, you understand? Don't worry. We're all friends here. Let's all uh, and Glow is back. Rolly pulling around as you Alright, let's pack up and head out. a new dish? Well, let me say right off the bat, nothing weird, okay? Some poached... Mm, 
poached fish and shrimp dumplings. Well, it is and it isn't. Think about it. Poached fish is hot and spicy with a powerful aroma. It's a dynamic dish. Add a side of shrimp dump. Dynamic? Hmm. Oh! Uh, no, 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 not that kind of dynamic. <laughs> A dish is more than substance, it's a mood. Poached fish is red and spicy. Shrimp dumplings are more subdued, clear and smooth with a pure and subtle fragrance. I call that static. Combining dynamic and static is how you create... Oh, uh, Paimon didn't follow that. Okay, dynamic and... Um, so is this just another way of saying you should keep everything balanced? You know, a little meat, a little veg. Bingo! Except I don't think you need to have a sweet dish for it to be a complete meal. Personally, okay, I think I got it. At first I thought you were just goofing around. <laughs> How did I ever doubt you, Hu Tao? When it comes to telling tales, the storytellers have got nothing. Hmm? Sounds suspiciously like a compliment to me. Uh-huh. Well, at least one of you gets everything in this world runs on its own set of principles. Be it the circle of life or sugar. Since the traveler seems to approve, I'll make sure to factor it in. Hmm. I think things are pretty much done here now. Let Boo Boo Pharmacy? Yeah, you'll definitely get some interesting response. <laughs> Chi-Chi has some gustatory dysfunction and can't taste any food. Oh, I understand. That's fine. Still, I'd expect Chi-Chi to have some sort of dietary preferences, though. Sensation? Coconut milk. Not well, that doesn't help us. It's not a dish. It's a... How about you two? Any thoughts? I like bite-sized morsels of... I agree with Chung Sheng. Many of our patients are the elderly and young children. They find large chunks of fowl or seafood difficult to swallow and digest. We also see plenty of people with colds and sore throats who find it difficult to eat rich food. From a purely fun... Got it! Uh, would that be medicinal... Uh, medicinal soup. Hmm, I must apologize for having such a one-track mind. It's a little difficult to think about food without worrying about the health implications these days. That's okay. Everyone's input counts. Keeping it seasonal and suitable for all ages sounds like a pretty good... Medicinal dishes have higher demands in terms of nutritional balance than the kind of food I normally cook. I don't usually focus on medicinal properties, but since this is for a competition... Food with substance. Always better. It's a great suggestion. Thanks, sir. You're welcome, Miss Lock. It's great to have a doctor's unique perspective. I'm feel. Oh, how you flatter. Receptivity to sensible suggestions make... Oh, she is. Creating new dishes is Xiangling's favorite thing to do. You can be sure to... <laughs> Everyone's got their hobbies, and mine is cooking. Usually I just go with my own ideas, but having a whole new perspective... Great! That makes this whole trip worth it! Alright, time to move on to the next! 
so we've got an independent thinker's perspective and a health perspective. <laughs> in Paimon, and sh oh, Greetings, friends. It's been a while. Hey, what brings you here? Has something happened? What's with this great big steward on the ground? Long story. So, just to confirm, I will assume responsibility for handle- None here. You know how to get things done, Kitching. As long as it's with you, I can rest easy. <sighs> Should I take this to mean that you doubt the real- Huh? Well, for starters, Ketching is the one who's always out running errands, rain or shine. Besides, you don't seem to give a wooden more about this whole thing anyway. I was merely joking. You, meanwhile, seem only too ready to pounce when an opportunity to publicly lambaste by no means. You wish to know about the stone, I presume. Then let me invite the... G you... <sighs> Fine. Well, it's a big one, right? And such a smooth surface. It was found by a fishing crew not far off the coast. It must have been underwater for years. So the finds like this cannot be kept as private property and must be submitted to a holder of public office. Place. So, what's inside it? Well, we've hit it with just about every weapon we could get our hands on and haven't managed to even dent it yet. No weapon could smash it open. Wow. Paimon. Kuching has taken an unusually keen interest in this giant stone, which is why we are... Let's put that aside for a second. Traveler, <laughs> what brings you here? Actually, we were looking for all of you. We... Oh? Hopefully not because there's been some sort of... No, no, nothing like that. Paimon's just getting carried away. Food preferences? I have rather simple tastes. Precise... That's your idea of simple, huh? I summed up my culinary requirements in four words. A few weeks out on the open ocean would fix your flawed definition of simplicity. What about you, Beto? Me? Ah, uh, if it's freshly cooked and piping hot, that floats my boat. Paimon thought you would have said bar food. <laughs> oh. As for me, it's got to be seafood. Okay, got it. So, seafood, piping hot, and, uh... And that's where I would disagree. Traveler, surely you've heard of golden shrimp bo Oh my... You need to wash and devein the shrimp, wrap it in finely sliced potato strips, and deep... They're very precisely put together. They taste pure, the presentation is smart, and the skill needed to cook them is... Huh. So what you're saying is, for all the frills and trills, I heartily agree. Golden shrimp balls are a prime example. Their essence lies in combining art and nutrition in a single package. Okay, got it. So Kuching loves golden sh- uh, I didn't say that. <laughs> no. Alrighty. Thanks for all your input. I'll be sure to traveler. Paimon, do you have anything planned after this? Good. I'd like you to help me investigate something. It's- You picked the right people for the job. We investigate stuff all the- My thoughts exactly. The Chising has a public duty to deliver our final verdict to the fishermen. But there are also some- I'm sure you've become acquainted with the general background of the Moonchase Festival. However, I have- My grandfather was a researcher of Liyue's traditions. In his notes, he indicated that there was a deity called the Stove God in ancient Liyue, which very few written records make mention of the Stove God, and those that do are notoriously confusing. Some scholars believe that the Stove God was just another title held by- One folktale even claims that the ancients found the Stove God shrine, but there was no statue. Only a huge, smooth slab of stone. Shortly after it was found, the stone was lost in transit. 
and it hasn't been seen since. This stone here, after many years of researching ancient texts, my grandfather came to believe that the practice of paying seasonal tribute to the stove god may be best described as a festival. He called it the Stove God Festival, but this is all just theory and conjecture. To prove any of it, we'd need to start by ident- Now that Rex Lapis has passed on, and Liwa has entered the age of humankind, his successor should continue to respect- That's why I think the responsibility for this situation should fall to me. It's a chance to shed light on our history, revitalize an ancient tradition, and possibly prove my grand- It was just a couple of days ago that we received this stone. Right after, we decided to use food as the central theme for this year's festival. It makes three birds with one stone, huh? That's pretty efficient, even- Don't worry about that. That sounds super important. So, besides, we're only. Uh -huh. What? Why are you shouting? Kaching, can I tag along for your investigation? Uh huh. Uh, but since it's all about the stove god, I might get to learn something useful about cooking along the way. Please, let me come along. I promise I'll help. If it means that much to you. Really? Yay! Thank you so. <clears throat> now that that's settled. Time to get going. Chingsa Village is said to be home to a lot of historical texts, so I- Alright, then it's off to Chingsa we go! <laughs> Something. Are there any old books around Chingzu village? Oh, looking for ancient tech. There is an old warehouse over there, property of the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Many books are... The Feiyun Commerce Guild's youngest? You must be talking about Xingxiao. Hyman didn't know they had a warehouse here. Let's go take a look. times before. Are you all right? <laughs> I am. Thanks to all of you. Hey, wait a minute. We'll try not to take up too much of your time. I understand that this book warehouse is the property of the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Could you... Um, the stove god? Huh? Really? Yeah. A friend of mine who conducts research mentioned it once before. We use stove... Some people think that the stove is a gift from the Lord of Geo. And that's why... Seems logical enough. But do you have any books on the... Um, I, uh... I I'm sorry. Oh, any questions? Please, ask... Hey, it's Chung Yun and Xin Chou. Hello, one and all. Hey, guys. What are you doing here? I was bored with nothing to do, and thought I'd come out this way for a bit of reading. <laughs> yes. I'm just along. I see the Yuhang Kuching is with you. Hmm. 
Whatever brings you here... Master Xingqiu, if I may be so bold, do you happen to know if there are any texts on the... Since I personally selected which volumes to store here, I do have some recollect... If my memory betrays me not, there is one volume among them called Demystifying the Legends of Liyue. Might I take a look? Certainly. If it pleases my lady, I shall lead the way. Sheng. Yes, Master Xingqiu has quite an exceptional memory. Demystifying the legends of Liu, it says the following. <clears throat> the body of the dragon wielded a tail that could eclipse the sun, and claws to command fire and teach the ways of wisdom. The body of a dragon? The story's about Rex- That much is true, but this is the only passage in the whole book. If we want to- There's nothing further to discover here. It seems we'll have to look- I come from a long lineage of exorcists, and our family too has amassed a number of ancient texts. Now that you mention the stove god, I seem to recall reading somewhere that this god once appeared at the- Books are penned by people. All they can do is show what the author was thinking. Everyone's mind is different, so every book on a given topic was that we could not help in a more <sighs> substantial capacity. Your help thus far is quite ample. Liyue is a vast and rich land. All things that existed here in the past have left their trip. Thank you all. We will continue our investigation else. Oh, uh, hold up. I had a question too. Xingqiu, Zhongyun. Food? Oh no. Y you're not thinking of taking part in- Uh, yeah, I totally am. What- Shangling, this is a major event. I beg you. What do you mean, strange? <laughs> Mushroom slime stick. Okay, fair enough. That dish isn't my most popular. But that's why I'm doing all this research. Well, in that case, I like cold food. That's because you can't handle hot and spicy, right? <laughs> yes. My tastes are on the mild side. I prefer gentle dishes with minimal seasoning. Soups and stews, vegetables and broth. No surprises from the Guhuagi. Okay, another mild child. Got These are just personal preferences, and everyone's are quite different. Are you sure this eclectic... Of course! You're my customers, and putting a smile on customers' faces? Though Xiangling's market research blade stabs often into the dark, her heart... If anyone can win the hearts and minds with their cooking, it's gotta be someone like Xiangling. No, where's all this praise coming from? <laughs> Sorry for holding you all up. That's all I needed to know. Over to you, Cooking. Way to next. Hmm. So we've learned the stove god allegedly made an appearance at the Guili Assembly. But today that place is largely a wasteland with few traces of heat. Long Shu Wen is close by, so let's stop off there on the way over. Forgive us, for this is where we must part ways. Make Yes, best of luck. If you run into any difficulties, come and find Let's go! Next step. Watch you in. I saw that when one one went shoe. your typical commoner. I've never... Look at that strong body, those powerful hands, and honest eye. So is there something I can help you with? You've come a long way out. Let me fill you in. Ah, okay. I see. Legends claim that the stove god once appeared at the Guili Assembly. As Wang Xuan is the oldest extant building in this area, any historical text from around... Is there a room in this inn for storing books? And if there is, do any of them men- Well, now that you mention it, we do have a fair few ancient texts here. I remember looking through an old recipe book once. If you are happy to wait here for a few minutes, I'll go have a look- Oh, uh, a Traveler, there's something I need to dis- What is it? We need to pay up or something? What? 
No, I wouldn't take your money. We're all friends here. I just... A satisfying salad? What for? Yeah, guy who hangs out on the roof terrace, you know? Good-looking fella, not too tall. Shh, don't you think he can hear you? Oh, right. Uh, yeah, maybe. The boss told me to take care of him, but this guy... Let me tell you, he is one tough nut to crack. But the boss tells me you once made him a satisfying salad, and it all went down so well. So, I was thinking... Oh, so this is for you! you... Well, that's life, right? You gotta look out for your own people. All right, then. Wait right here. Clock is ticking! Fifty nine. Sorry for the trouble, Traveler. Okay. Here you are. Thank you ever so much. While Cookie's reading her book, let's make that satisfying sa Oh, I'd love to come watch, too, but I don't want to get in the way. Uh, okay. Shall we go then? Go ahead and get started. I'll just watch from over here. I only need to watch you make it one. That should do it. All right. Thanks for that. I think I. You got all the steps down, right? Of course. Don't forget, I am the best. Let's go see what Kuching and Shangling are up. You finished cooking? Good timing. We finished. And? Useful? Useful. There is a passage concerning the stove god. I quote <clears throat> 60 miles to the northwest is the Gwaili Assembly. Many were settled there, where they hunted in groups. When the stove god descended, one god became many, all of which were the height of children. As does a star when it descends into the world. So the stove god went out among the common folk and taught them to create fire. With fire, this is a radically different account from the one given in demystifying the legends of Liyue. One god became many? Hmm. Taking the text at face value, that is what it says. Went out among the common folk and taught them to create fire. So did the stove god really go- Now that's a god who- So, we've got two leads, but they contradict each other. By continuing our investigation and reserving judgment for now. Thank you for this text, Yan Xiao. It's my pleasure, really. Think nothing of it. If... Listen, you've helped me an awful lot. Not just today, but in the past, too. I want to make it up to you properly, and as it happens, things are pretty quiet here today. Wow, he sure sounds confident in his cooking. I like that. Confidence is one of the best... I really want to try his cooking. I say we take him up on his offer. It's hard to refuse a generous offer like that. Yan Xiao. We await your culinary creations. <laughs> I won't disappoint. Won't you win us the best place to watch? Go on for this way to travel. Uh, luck is not on my side. Everybody, please be seated. You think you own the place? I'll sit here with Goba. No, no, no. No. Here we are. That's everything you. <laughs> Such a gifted chef worked here. The sun isn't... Everyone likes a good meal, whether they're staying the night or just stopping by for a bite. We call it an inn, but the fact is it's much more than that. <sighs> Please enjoy your meal at your leisure. Yan Xiao, are you taking part in this year's Masterful Chef? Uh, huh? Y you too? Yep. I've signed up already, and I've got my eyes on the prize. <laughs> huh. Interesting. What was that? So 
some kind of power? No, it seemed more sportsmanlike than... Yep, he's a really talented chef. His food was excellent, and it showed he has a level-headed personality. That's the kind of chef that could be a... I haven't had any competitive cooking experience since my cook-off with Brooke in Springvale. <laughs> You're too kind. <laughs> Groba, what are you doing? No. Uh, Groba's eating the... Those were kitchings! How could you steal them while she was a look? Oh, my golden... Oh? You ate every last one? Oh, Groba, we've been through this! I'm so sorry, Kuching. I promise I'm... What's the big deal? We can just get another plate. It's not the same, though. The moment's gone. Sure, you can eat something else, but you can never go back and change the field. The dining experience is a trinity of emotion, food, and atmosphere. And you... I have to say, now that you mention it, that is... I'm gonna make it up to you, Kaching. Is there anything you want to eat? Anything at all? Hmm... I don't have high hopes for this. But equally, I don't want her feeling guilty. If you insist, there is one dish that perhaps you could try making for me. No problem. May I see it? I'll get it to you when we're back in Liwa Harbor. Traveler, have you finished eating? Before we do anything else, let's head back to Liyue Harbor. to fetch my grandfather's notes. Let's meet at one minute. Great! I'll go get everything ready. Traveler, what about you? Are you gonna do your... I uh, actually have something to discuss with her. You... Okay, gotcha! Traveler, come here for a moment. I need your advice on something. What do I need to do to get along? Seriously? That's what's stretchy? What's so strange about it? You're super smart, and you're always sure of yourself. Paimon thought you'd never needed- Well, that's just ridiculous. Xiongling's always so warm and friendly with me. This time especially. And now she's desperate to do me a favor. I'm just not used to dealing with people who are so warm right from the get-go. How exactly am I supposed to respond to that? Uh, oh. Um. <clears throat> Noted. Thank you, Tro- Kuching so self-conscious. Paimon thought no Hey, we're here! Hey, <laughs> grab a seat. I'm just running through my ingredients. Oh, we're gonna do this next. What is it? Okay, so back at Longshu Inn, we noticed you and Kuching were getting a- Yup! Kuching's good-natured and easy to be around. The kind of person everyone- You're a braver person than Paimon. The first time we met Kuching, Paimon found her- You think so? I remember thinking straight away that she was really easy to get along with. Didn't you see her sneaking treats? Yeah, she's great! We know that now. We're just talking- First impressions? Oh, okay. Hmm. We've eaten shellfish before, but I don't think we've... Oh, you're missing out. I'll cross them for you another time. But anyway, Kuching's like a shell... Not to mention that even after her favorite food was stolen away, she was still happy looking after Guoba. You make a good point. You know, Xiang Ling's intuition for people seems really spot on. Is that... All right, let's see. We're okay for carrots and crab, and we... St huh? What was that noise? What's going on? What the... That bird is you! Ah, it's the ladybird! Excuse me. One shall not be addressed in... One shall be known as Adeptus. Whose name should you... Cloud retainer. That does sound like an... Well spoken. One shall let this young lady's enlightened words 
A tone a while it has indeed been, traveler. Does one surmise correctly? Ah. So even the illustrious traveler has been summoned to attend the Moon Chase Festival. As a the theme? You mean Feast of the Bounteous? The very same. Moon Chase Festival falls during the season when many cooking ingredients are ripe. Hence, it is a fitting time to enjoy the finest of foods. Let it be known that one's culinary proficiency and ingenuity is uncontested in all the world. Uh, a, a supreme cuisine? What? What's a supreme cuisine? Patience. One's purpose here today is to meet and to greet. Traveler, you are one who has witnessed much of the culinary world. When the day comes... Oh, so we're officially invited? Hmm. That which is implicitly understood needs not be made ex- I shall say no more and dwell here no longer. <laughs> Await my word. Be there or beware. This bird always disappears just as quickly as she shows up. Oh, wait, not for- She seemed like someone very prestigious and very tough. She definitely, definitely- What are you all huddled together over here for? The Adeptus left all- Yay, Kaching's back! Sorry I kept you waiting, Xiangling. This is the recipe from my grandfather's notes. They're not in the best condition, so rather than- Unfortunately, the texts my grandfather worked with were very old. Usually faded, damaged, or both. Some parts are missing from this recipe, too. Oh, okay. Um, let me take a look. Hmm. Give me some time. I need to look into- Sorry for the trouble. <sighs> uh, oh, uh... That voice sounds familiar! Sorry to interrupt your conversation. I was in the area buying a few things, and I heard the disturbance. So I felt compelled to come- You mean Cloud Retainer? I saw her too. She just suddenly showed up right in the middle of the street. Lady Kuching, you saw her too? Do you, uh, have a moment? What is it, Ganyu? Has something urgent come up while I've been out? No, it's nothing work-related. I wanted to ask about a personal matter involving me. Surely I haven't done it. Please, Lady Kuching? This is really- Oh, uh, okay. I noticed Cloud Retainer was here for quite a while. Did she say anything about... Uh, about your childhood? No, nothing at- What? Really? Whew, I was getting really worried. Once she gets talking to people, she tends to go off on all sorts- Your name didn't even come up, so you've nothing to worry about. Kaching, how are you not asking a bunch of questions right now? There's obviously some juicy gut- Uh, please, no. Of course not. Whatever it is, I'm not curious and I'm not going to- If Ganyu has a secret and she wishes to keep it that way, nobody should make it their business to try and get it out of- uh, Yes, ma'am. Bye, my no- Kuching, I- Thank you. You're so kind and- What's that got to do with- Oh my, you're right. I should. Okay, everyone. Please excuse me. I should get back- Hey, what are you trying to say? Uh, don't worry, Ganyu. We will- <laughs> Thanks. Hope to see you again soon. <sighs> just ignore her. Hey, everyone! I just had an idea! It only occurred to me when that Adeptus showed up. Do you think the stove got- Ooh! Could be! I don't want to assert either way. But it seems- In that case, we should go ask the Adepti about it! Master? You mean, your are uh -huh. she's over at Eugene Terrace! Come on, I'll let- uh, Time for some lunch is special.
pillows. Uh, uh, Madam Ping is shopping. I did not expect that. Master, how are you keeping these days? Are you well? Oh, very well, thank you. What a surprise it is that you. Hello. Master, we came here because we have a question for you. Do you know about... Of course I know the stove guard. Does this mean you know them personally? Ah, I see. How interesting. <laughs> so you came to hear... That's right. We're investigating something that happened recently. I see. The great stone surfaces. I must commend your guesswork this far. I did indeed know Moonchase was originally a rite observed by the Adepti. Not something in which the ordinary people of Liyue would ever partake. On nights when the moon shone bright, everybody would get together for joyful re- Later, Rex Lapis unified all of these various festivals under the Moonchase name to honor an old friend of his. In short, the heavens were our witness as we va- Rex Lapis. <laughs> that friend made many contributions to Liyue, and Rex Lapis would not have them go unrecognized. I can only presume that the Stove God Festival was one of the many subsumed- In the hands of Rex Lapis, our nation's traditions were faithfully upheld. It is to their detriment that we are oh, coaching. I simply won't allow you to be so down on yourself. Nothing would delight Rex Lapis more than... Thank you. Lady Kuching. Huh? Lady Kuching. Lady Ningguang wishes to speak with you. Ningguang's looking for me? Must be important. Please excuse me, everyone. If I'm not... There she goes. Hmm. Do you want to know who Rex Lapis is? Oh! Yes, precisely. There are few genuine coincidences in the world. The sto the stove god was a good friend of <sighs> What a pity it is that the god is now gone, Bo- How could that happen? It is to everyone's regret that the stove god passed. But gods cannot be fully destroyed, and we made a pact to wait until the last. Really? Master, you must miss the stove god a lot, right? Yes. Thinking back on it all, I'm pleasantly surprised to find that Kuching is investigating this. She is a tenacious child, and anything she sets her mind. Unfortunately, however, I cannot simply give her the answer. For the Kuching's grandfather once researched the stove god, and now she follows in his footsteps. So you knew Kuching's grandpa? Of course. I count all the people of Liyue among my good friends. I re Grandparent and grandchild are definitely made from the same mold. Both diligent enough to take on anything, and I like to think of Liyue as my own little potted plant. I've watched it grow and blossom, and it grows more beautiful all the time. For new blossoms must bloom on the branches if the tree is to remain ever... My dears, you are absolutely right to focus your investigation on the stone. It is as you suppose. I should like to see the stone for myself if you would lead me to it. Perhaps the truth will emerge... <laughs> to send someone to fetch Kuching, has the stone undergone it? A crack has appeared in one corner, but we still can't tell what's... What happened? Did someone chip it? More likely a natural occurrence. Our weapons have had no effect on it. How would a natural occurrence... This is because the stove god draws power from the actions of the masses. The heat of a busy kitchen. The jaw... All the books say the stove god is the deity so is the stone opening up because everyone's cooking for the fa hmm. Statues draw power from their people. 
So, if the stove god has dominion over cooking, could it be that the passion... Ningguang and I chose Feast of the Bounteous Land as this year's theme, and now every chef signed up for the competition is busy preparing. Plus, a lot of families have reunion feasts around this time. With everyone back home, the whole city's... So if the stone cracked because Leah has started getting festive, that must mean that when the festive fever peaks, it'll... That's gotta be it! Right, Master? <laughs> well, we'll have to see then. Okay, the fact that cooking is involved gives us a perfect opportunity. The selection space of Masterful Chefs will be held indoors and seen by only a few people. But the finals will be held outside in public. Ev and when the finals end... We'll get to see who the stove got... It's definitely a possibility. Well, I've already signed up, so I should be able... Yes, for a chef as accomplished as yourself, getting to the final should be... All this talk of cooking competitions is making Paimon hungry! Oh, Paimon 